Hey Gemini's, this is for Gemini singles. Love options for the week of December 7th through the 13th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This reading doesn't resonate for you guys. Please check your Moon and Rising signs as they may help you to understand better, okay? If this reading still doesn't resonate for you, then you guys can check me out on the website for a personal reading. <clears throat> and we will go from there, okay? Gemini's, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what you guys got going on for this week as far as love options, all right? If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Gemini's. One more shuffle, guys. All right. Gemini. Hmm. I felt Leo. I feel strongly that um, you guys have a Leo in your midst. Okay. Somebody that's very knowledgeable very self-aware, very confident. Leos usually are. Um, but I, I feel like you see this confidence as probably a little threatening here. Um, they make you feel on guard. I'm not so sure if you're welcoming to it. You also have um, either an Aries that's hot on your tail as well. Or this could be the Leo just being kind of um, overzealous, um, maybe a little controlling you feel, and you're just not having it. Um, I don't think that you feel like this person can make you happy because that's what you're seeking is your happiness. But we'll see. We'll see. This person is really um, hung up on you, I feel like. I feel like they also, um, they like to be viewed in a certain light. They don't like for people to think that they are, um, are anything less than what they think of themselves. I put it that way. I feel like they think you're a challenge. They will definitely think you're a challenge here. Um, for some of you, you know, this emperor is just, is another facet of your personality. Um, very headstrong, very headstrong. And you don't see, you know, this Leo as one of the ships that you have coming in. I feel like you're waiting on somebody else here, possibly an Aries. And I feel like you're stuck over this person or they're stuck over you. Pisces energy as well. I also feel like for some of you, your father is, is going to be heavily involved in, you know, your decisions as far as dating. Father figure anyway, father energy, somebody that's overprotective. They're, they're scared that you'll be hurt. They almost want to make your choices for you. I don't think you're allowing that because I feel like you're very headstrong. Um, but I, I do feel like, you know, they, they almost like insert themselves into your dating life, you know, quite often. And you ignore them a lot of the times. Now, for those of you involved with the Leo, this person is very, they don't know what to do about you. They really don't. I think they, you know, usually they're very sure of themselves, but um, I think they rethink themselves a lot. And I think they know that you have other options. I think they feel like, you know, there's somebody else 
that you have your eye on or there are lots of people that are looking, you know, looking in your direction. You may be waiting on somebody that's far away from you as well, that lives far away from you. Maybe somebody in the Navy, somebody that's away from you. And I think that's why they're probably using the opportunity because this person's not around, um, you know, to try to make an advancement towards you. Okay. So Gemini, this is what I have for you. As far as your love options for December 7th through the 13th, we have Leo, we have Aries, Pisces, and um, possibly another, another Gemini like yourself. Okay? So I will be speaking with you soon, gents.